What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video, we are now talking about Evan Fournier in a positive light. So first of all, first of all, thank you. Thank you 2K, and not only thank you 2K, uh, you guys know who you are, thank you to the people in the company that were able to forward on the way the community were feeling about this in order to get this fixed. Thank you to the people, obviously, that care about this game as much as we do. Thank you to the people that work at 2K to care about this game mode as much as the players do. Thank you guys for, honestly, for sharing the stuff that I was posting, sharing the stuff that other people was posting. Thank you to content creators calling this out, especially the ones that are under contract who can get in trouble with this. Thank you to everybody involved because this has been a huge positive. Because Evan Fournier right now, yes, he is two original owner cards, but you can now get him in TT Online. But it's easy, but not too easy to get the card. He's not too easy to get that everyone's going to get him, but he's easy enough that if you put in enough time, you will get him. As well as that, if you want to buy packs, you now can. I have no, no problem with somebody. Because a lot of people want to play this game. Not everyone has the time to grind. Right now, the way things are right now, if you want to buy packs, be my guest. If you want to try quick fix this card, I don't I advise against it. But if you want to, you know what? Go ahead. Because right now, this card is both. You can get this card both by grinding the game or by paying money, which is ideal. Not only is a card this good, it's going to bring in new players. And not only that, not only bring in new players, it's also one of the best cards, one of the best cards in the game. I'm not, I'm, I'm not even lying, he's one of the best cards in the game. For you guys that are um, pay to win players, he's one of the better cards, especially if you don't want to overspend on packs. Like, he's not quite as good as the dentist, but he's better than the lawyer. Like, he's better than Dantley, he's way better than J.R. Smith. Like, he's still one of the top 10, 15, 2 cards in the game. So, like, look, you gotta say it like it is this is a w this is a day that started off with 2k making maybe the biggest mistake they've ever made by putting a card behind a paywall and now the car like you can still get the guy like you can get him if you want to pay and get him you know what you've you've saved a hell of a lot of time but if you don't want to pay you can go and grind for him which is the perfect scenario so again, a huge thank you to everybody. A huge thank you to everyone for sharing my posts, other people's posts, because without that, it would have just been some crazy Irish guy shouting into his phone, complaining about virtual basketball players um, for no reason. Shout out again to the creators, the other creators that spoke up about this. And again, especially the ones that are under contract with 2K where this could actually um, have some negative consequence like i'm not saying like re realistically say what i want to an extent like i'm i'm never gonna attack any individuals in the company but i don't think i i can get in trouble really for complaining about the game well too much trouble and also a huge shout out to the people that are in the company again for forwarding on all the information and making sure it got to the right places in order to get this changed but anyway now we're now we're on to heaven for anyway but 19 half badges catch and shoot corner specials difficult shots clamps Car Crusher, Interceptor, he's also got half quick first step, half range extender, half volume shooter, and 31 gold badges, which is insane. He has got a 95 three ball, 94 mid range, he's got an 86 ball handle, great perimeter defense, he's got not a great block, good enough steal of 80, it's a usable steal, he's 6'7 as well. Speed, again, like you would definitely want a speed shoe on the guy, like again, you have to say it like it is, a speed shoe to get him up to 90 does help quite a bit, ladder points of 89. In terms of coaches, like there are he he is a player some players don't it doesn't matter what coach they use like obviously he goes plus five and three ball but if you have a mighty antony to improve his speed that definitely will help um but again like it's not not everyone is going to have mighty antony because he's super super expensive but yeah so basically you've got a fantastic card again on next gen the fact he's got 87 speed is perfectly fine because he's got that half quick first step badge like, he definitely has got a really, really just all-around, just just good. Just He's just an all-around good card, to be completely honest. So, first of all, change the camera settings because it's a weird one. Like, I can only play on certain camera settings. And make sure vibration off. There we go. That works. So, going to Evan Fournier right now. Evan Fournier, his player build looks really nice. Guy can curry. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
Oh, yeah, this is definitely my starting two. This is definitely gonna be my starting two guard. A base four is such a nice release off the catch and off the dribble. Like the bald spot is kind of off-putting. I can't lie. I can't lie. It is a little bit off-putting, but all right, just look at the way he moves. Just look at the way he moves right now. Like, oh yeah. This card is it. This card is it, lads. Obviously, half range extender, which is big. On next gen, the half deep threes is really deep. Like next gen, you can legitimately shoot from here with half deep threes. Whereas current gen, I mean, this is probably that's maybe gold range. Like, I reckon you can maybe shoot from here. But either way, though, the release is fantastic. He's got some nice showtime dunks as well. So he, I think he does come with gold showtime. One of the funny things is, is, is that like showtime dunks on next gen are subjectively bad because they get blocked a lot. But obviously there are reasons for showtime dunks on current gen. But uh, yeah, so. Just an all around beast, man. Just an all around beast. Check out his full court dribble six. Let's check out these. So it's pro one, which is perfect. Because pro one at least means that it's he's not going to be like unusable. It's not going to be unusable on next gen. It's actually probably the best pro one or pro three are the best on next gen. And I know there are a lot of people with um pro five and six which are very very bad on next gen. And then like pro fours is bad on both of them. And pro twos kind of meh on both of them. It's not an ideal one, but I mean it's better than pro four. And it's better than all the normal ones besides normal two. But uh, yeah, this card's fantastic, lads. There's, I'm going, for, I'm 100% playing some, t, grind some TTO going for this card. So yeah, anyway, now it's going three. And now let's get on to the game. Uh, it's this card. Like he's essentially a free card. Like he's a freak. He's basically a grinding card that you also can get from packs if you want to. Like he's a free card that you can grind for if you choose to. Or that you can pay for if you choose to. He, this is the perfect scenario. You know what? Can we get more? Can we get more exchanges like this? Maybe not for a player as good as Evan Fournier. But like, can we get more exchanges like this throughout the year? Because if there was a perfect exchange, if there was a perfect exchange, it would be this exchange. Perfect way to do things. Maybe not to make them as OP as Fournier. Maybe make them closer to like a standard of a... Instead of making them very similar to Dishinger, maybe make them a similar standard to like a Rudy Fernandez. Maybe like a half clamps gold range or a gold clamps half range player, which is pretty good sigs and stuff. Like them cards. Like, but this is a this is a fire concept. I can't like I'm gonna have to give credit. Like obviously the only reason it happened is because of complaints, but if they intentionally Okay, basically the same teams. If they intentionally do this in the future and make um these exchange guys beef some cards you can get from TTO. I mean, even if they are available in packs, I don't think anyone's really complaining. All right, come on. He's being matched up to Kawhi. That's going to be naughty. That's not going to be easy. We're there. We're there. We got him clamped. Oh, I thought he was going to give the ball the other way. He's going to dot corner. He's going to dot corner. Oh, I thought we had that lane. We're there. Maybe not. Evan Lee, you need to press triangle on that. You can't just get ghost like, like next gen. Did we get him? No, we didn't. Good release, though. I just took a bad shot. Like, I couldn't have timed much better than I did. Ah, uh, we're there. Oh, that meter did a weird, did a madness right there. It's fine, though. He just hit a white. That's all, that's all good. This is current gen. White's going an awful lot. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, we just gotta create some space. Kinda open. No, we're not. Roll. Chicken man. Chicken man missed the wide open. Oh, it's one of the reasons why I hate this game. It's like it's shooting so inconsistent. Like whites are literally, like your opponent could hit five whites in a row. Sure, I went, I greened one shot and went seven of eight from three yesterday in the game. We're there. I think my opponent missed like three or four. It's like Jomar versus uh, Ty on current gen. In 250? You you actual idiot! I'm telling you. I'm telling you that was the dumbest thing I've ever seen. 
One second to go. He fumbles the ball. It's going to be a shot clock violation. He fails for no reason. Come on. We got stuck. We got, we got stuck. We got stuck. Oh, I hate this game so much. I hate this gen so much. Like, I'm literally just getting stuck. There's nothing. Like, half the stuff isn't my fault at all. Obviously, I'm not playing well. My opponent's probably outplaying me, but still. That's barely a contest. That's barely a contest, 2K. And at this stage, like, he's hit some shots. He's hit all his whites. Big steal. It's his shot. It's his shot. Green. There we go. It appears we have to green. Unlike him, we have to green to hit a shot. Although, to be fair, though, he's hit one white. He has green twice. Like, that two whites. He, he can't miss. Unfortunately, he can't miss and we can. Hey, we're good. We're good. We have. It's wide open. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Screwed. We're just being screwed by the, the... We're being screwed by the algo. We're being screwed by the algo right here. Like, if we, if we both hit even amounts of open whites, like... This would be a lot closer than 14 to 3. Come on, set on the screen. We got him. Decent shot. I mean, like, that's a 19%. That's not that much of a contest. Okay, good, good job. Good job. Let's dunk that. There we go. Good job off that pick and roll. It's a steal. Let's go. Big defense. He's not guarding that at all, but I know for a fact that would be like a 20% contest, so I'm not... Quick stop. Oh, no, you dumb. Oh, you're so dumb going for... Not working... Not letting the quick stop work. Ah, oh, that's a heavy. Catch the ball, Kawhi. Let's attack the basket. Attack the basket. Let's just go for that one. Hey, good job, Fournier. We failed miserably at the quick stop, and that kind of screwed us in that possession. We're good. We're all good. That's a steal. Right to the basket. Right to the basket. You gotta make the layup. Good job, Fournier. Let's go. Fournier now starting to get into this game a little bit. We're stuck. We're stuck. We can't do anything. He's gonna go for the dunk. Kawhi triggered. We triggered a bad animation. We didn't trigger a chase down. We just triggered some weird jumping. Normally, when you press triangle in that situation, you get chased down. We just got to jump. He's just doubling me. He's literally playing me like people play Splash and Pro-Am. This is literally like the way that the guys play Splash and Pro-Am. Triple teaming him off screens. Quick stop. Again. We didn't quick stop. I don't think it would have made much of a difference there. You bomb Kawhi Leonard. Can you not catch the ball? Do you not realize that that's a very, very important thing to do? And of course they go and get another rebound. It's a steal, surely. Good defense. Good defense. Oh, nope. We're there. It's great defense. That's superb defense. Big boy, let's go. He's on our back. He's on our back. He's on our back. It's open. Big shot. Let's go. Come on. We're right back in this game. We've done so much good stuff in this game here. Kawhi. I mean, you're not meant to stop. And when I press triangle on a chase down, you're meant to get some sort of chase animation, not just stop. It's open. Big green right there. Let's go. Good shot, Fournier. We're there. Run him off. Wait, he's gonna pass. He's gonna pass. Oh, I thought we were there. No way. No way, 2K! You're screwing me! You just screwed me there! But Fournier is a god. Like, 2K, this game may be awful, but you know what? You could. There can be great cards in an awful game, and that's what um, Evan Fournier is. That is what Evan Fournier is. The guy is a demon. The guy is an absolute demon. Okay, you know, I didn't shoot the best with him, like, 2 of 8 from 3. But that's just, uh, but I'm telling you right now, the guy's a demon. I shot a bunch of heavies. I shot a bunch of heavies because I was just getting up shots. I play badly. It doesn't matter. We saw, you saw, you saw what he can do. You saw what he can do. It doesn't, like, 
There are cards where I can green. Like Gilbert Arenas yesterday, I green almost every shot with him. And I'm telling you, that card's bad. Evan Fournier, I struggle with him. But you know what? I'm telling you for a fact, this card is a beast. Just because the game didn't let me, I shot a few heavies in the game, didn't let me hit a white otherwise. Does not mean this card is fantastic. He's one of the best cards in the game. Definitely a card that you probably, you definitely should grind for. I would advise anyone to grind for this card because he's a beast. The guy is an absolute beast. So anyway, yeah, that is pretty much it, lads. That is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.